for most of us, an airport is a place where we come, wait, and go. But in actual fact, an airport is like a small city. I'm here at Pearson. Last year, almost 34 million people moved through this airport. 40,000 people work here. It's actually more like an ecosystem than it is even a city. We're here now in the open spaces back behind me where the planes land, where they dock. That's the busy part over there. But Randy and I are going to take you to have a look at some of the things that, as a passenger, you would never have seen. Come with me. I'm going to take you to that tower right now, which is a unique feature here at Pearson. Well, so here we are. This is not the air traffic control tower. This is the apron control tower. It's actually one of the first buildings you see when you drive to Terminal 1 at Pearson. It's a kind of a handsome structure. Uh, it's about 20 stories high, uh, and I've got a fantastic view all the way on a good day across to Rochester. But these are the people who control the planes after they get off the runway and come into the apron. That's the area around the terminals. So on the course of a normal day, they might get 1,100 flights, all of them controlled through here. Flagship uh, 3772, push Bravo 15. Flagship 3772, apron, push back, tail east on lane two, call for taxi. Tail east, lane two, flagship 3772. You might have noticed that I'm whispering. I don't want to distract these people because their job is very important. We don't want to cause a crash after all. So maybe we better get going. For the Star.com, I'm Christopher Hume.